Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Math Addiction and today we will discuss a problem. In writing all the natural numbers from 1 to 300, how many times the digit 1 is used. So let's get started. To solve this problem, we have to divide it into three parts. Part 1. Count all the ones from 1 to 9. It means we will deal with all one digit numbers. Part 2. Count all the ones from 10 to 99. It means all two digit numbers. Part 3. Count all the ones from 100 to 299. It means all three digit numbers. Then we sum up all the results to get the final answer. To get the answer faster, we will use fundamental principle of counting. So let's begin. Part 1. Count all the ones from 1 to 9. Well, this should not be a difficult task because 1 is written only one time in writing 1 to 9. So number of ones used in writing from 1 to 9 is 1. Part 2. Count all the ones from 10 to 99. All the numbers from 10 to 99 are two digit numbers. They are written as tens place and unit place. For example, 32, 53 and so forth. First, we will count how many times one is used in the unit place. To do so, fix one in the unit place as so next. As you can see, 1 has been fixed in the unit place. Now we have to think about the tens place. The tens place can take any digit from 1 to 9. We can place 1, we can place 2, we can place 3, and so forth up to 9 in the tens place. But we can't place 0 because if we put 0, that will be reduced to a one digit number. So the tens place can be filled up in nine different ways. Hence, number of times one is used in the unit place equals to nine times one equals to nine. Nine for the tens place and one for the unit place. So nine times one equals to nine. Second, we will count how many times one is used in the tens place. To do so, this time fix 1 in the tens place as shown below. As you can see, 1 has been fixed in the tens place, so now we have to think about the number of ways in which we can fill up the unit place. The unit place can take any digit from 0 to 9. Note that it can also take 0 this time. So the unit place can be filled up in 10 different ways. Hence, Number of times 1 is used in the tens place equals to 1 times 10 equals to 10. Adding both the results of part 2, we get number of ones used in writing from 10 to 99 equals to 9 plus 10 equals to 19. Now we are in the last part. Part 3. Count all the ones from 100 to 299. All the numbers from 100 to 299 are three digit numbers. They are written as hundreds place, tens place, unit place. First, we will count how many times one is used in the unit place. To do so, fix one in the unit place as one so next. Now, the tens place can take any digit from 0 to 9. We can place 0, 1, 2 and so forth up to 9 in the tens place. So the tens place can be filled up in 10 different ways. But the hundreds place can be filled up with either 1 or 2 only. Because any other digit will produce a number greater than 300. For example, if we put 3 in the hundred place, we will get a number more than 300, which is not allowed since we are asked to form numbers from 1 to 300. So there are only two choices for the hundreds place, that is 1 or 2. As number of times, 1 is used in the unit place equals to 2 times 10 times 1 equals to 20. 
two choices for the hundred place, ten choices for the tens place, and only one choice for the unit place. Hence, the answer is twenty. Second, we will count how many times one is used in the ten place. To do so, fix one in the tens place as shown below. The unit place can take any digit from zero to nine, so the unit place can be filled up in ten different ways. The hundreds place can be filled up with either one or two only, as in previous case. So there are only two choices for the hundreds place. Hence, number of times one is used in the tens place equals to two times one times ten equals to twenty. Finally, we will count how many times one is used in the hundreds place. This is easy. To do so, fix one in the hundreds place as shown below. Now the unit place can take any digit from zero to nine, so the unit place can be filled up in ten different ways. Similarly, the tens place can take any digit from zero to nine, so the tens place can also be filled up in ten different ways. Hence, number of times one is used in the hundreds place equals to one times ten times ten equals to one hundred. Adding all the results of part three, we get. Number of ones used in writing from hundred to two ninety nine equals to twenty plus twenty plus hundred equals to one forty. Our final answer is from part one, the answer is one. From part two, the answer is nineteen, and from part three, the answer is one forty. So adding up all, we get hundred and sixty. So one is written. Or used hundred and sixty times in writing numbers from one to three hundred. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Math Addiction for more videos. Have a good day.